Hello and welcome to Stripe Training Session. I am Tundia Bimbola, the Chief Marketing Officer, Rightgate Technologies Limited. In this session, I will be introducing you to the future of business automation in Stride ERP. So what does an ERP stand for? An ERP, like we all know, means Enterprise Resource Planning. Stride as an ERP is a very unique uh, software. Uh, it is flexible with premium support is configurable, easy to navigate, and also helps to promote efficiency. It helps the organization to run properly. It helps to manage the day-to-day -day of business processes. It helps to reduce paperwork and gives return on investment. And again, uh, it is cloud-based. It is also permission-based. So what we have here on the dashboard, we have the dashboard like we can see, the numbers of employees, the number of clients, the number of invoices, the number of order, the number of vendors, the number of assets, the number of projects, and the number of vendor bills. At this part, you see the system set up. You see uh, where the system is being set up. Uh, again, the finance module, the asset module, the project management module, the HR email template, specific template that are tailor-made, big spoke templates that are tailor-made for the company. Then you begin to see uh, more things about the company, the company profile, operating year, office location, and so on and so forth. All these can be seen on stride. Then again, you see the client administration module. The client administration module also tells us about uh, the client grouping. It talks about email notification products. And again, you also see the sales hub. Sales hubs talk about the lead status, the opportunity types that we have, the lead sources stages of sales. It talks about the location service setting. You see the workflow. Uh, so we can all, a whole lot, a whole lot in the setup, system setup, you see a whole lot. Now, again, uh, human resource is key in any organization. Therefore, we have my profile. So every staff have to have their profile in, star, in, stride, in stride. Very important. Then again, here you see, under my profile, you see my wallet, my leave, my assets, my pay slip, my time sheet, my, my appraisal history my purchase request, my support ticket, my sales orb. Then again, you see a team profile. If you are a, if you are a team lead or a supervisor, a manager, as the case may be, you see my team profile. Then again, you see the HR module. We also have the HR module, a whole lot in the HR module. So you see the dashboard again, the employees, number of employees that you have, their own detail, the employee time sheet, uh, employee attendance history, uh, Employee incidents are in all lots. So again, the sales orb, a whole lot of things to see under the sales orb, like the dashboard, the leads, the events, the event reports, quotations, quotes, opportunity, campaign, sales commission, sales team, uh, reports. Then again, the client administration module. We have the asset management module. Uh, we have the dashboard and so on and so forth. The purchasing orb, the carpool manager, financial administration module, a whole lot. Of course, this talks about the dashboard, talks about your budgeting, this application and take care of the budgeting, your payroll, your e-wallet, your bank account, your fiscal activities, of course, your uh, balance sheets, your balance sheet, your profit and loss, your depreciation, and lots more, uh, your chart of account, as the case may be, and lots more can be done. Then the project for project managers, this will also be important, project administration module projects, the project operation center, and again, we can see uh, the entire report, income by project, expense by project, uh, expense by category, expense by project phase, expense by phase, uh, by phase, and, and, and a whole lot we can see. Now, I this video is strictly the introductory part. Uh, as we progress in the course of the week, we will undo these modules one after the other, and then we can go into detail of what you are expecting to see, what is expected to be seen in each of these modules. So we go into detail, into this module, break it down, show detail, show uh, in, 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 in depth what it is that you're, you're going to see in each of these modules. And before I leave, I want to leave you with this. Uh, I want to quickly talk about the unique selling features of Stride. I want you to know that Stride is cloud-based. Uh, is a cloud-based application anywhere you are, you are in the world you can make use of stride uh, again uh, it is permission-based uh, 
permission based means uh, of course people just can't do as they wish to do unless certain permission are given so it's permission based so permission needs to be given based on what level uh, people are in the organization and again uh, one of those things that is unique in stride is stride is flexible very flexible so uh, we also give top notch customer service there's premium support uh, stride is configurable uh, so there's easy navigation in stride uh, so again it helps the organization to promote efficiency and lastly stride is very very affordable so stay tuned uh, keep joining us as we proceed and progress in the coming week whereby we come to learn more about each of these modules i mentioned earlier thank you and stay safe.